without offending. So now my mouth is in the jailhouse with cases pending. First Amendment, you replaced it, rigged it, dubbed it down. It's not an option. Some of it I understand. Take a power from me. SMT Nation, we back and we are testing AT&T's 5G Plus, a site that I just recorded a video on. At the time, I think they had just put up the gear, so I wasn't able to test it, but now it appears that it is on, and I am connecting to it at the bakery. Uh, so we are giving you some indoor testing here, 122 down and a couple of megabits up. You guys will see that the performance is not great. This site is, I call it around a mile. All right, so it's not very close for the N77, you know, the 3700 megahertz. This is something that I see across all parts of the city. The C-band N77 5G Plus for AT&T, very, very weak uplink performance at about a mile range is all you can pretty much get. And the trouble there is, is that when you're on that connection versus the LTE connection, the LTE performs better. So I'm going to go ahead and put it through its paces indoors here at the bakery, sitting at a table. And, uh, you know, just testing the connection. Here's the NPERF results. Uh, so we're, we're going to see how it performs for browsing and video, the downlink speed, the uplink speed uh, from the NPERF, which is kind of nice. It gives you a, a quick little test on all the things that might be important to your experience for different types of applications on your phone. 166 down, 6.5 megs up. We got a total score in the 82,000 range, 77% browsing rating, 80% streaming rating. So it... It shouldn't be much of an issue. It should probably be fine for whatever you got to do, uh, but it is less than ideal. All right, here's a fast.com for you guys. Uh, it's coming in, I think, probably around, I don't know, maybe about 140, 150 megabits per second on the Netflix servers. Uh, kind of gives you an idea of what you'd be getting uh, for video resolution playback. So plenty good. You can get 4K on that. It's not really a problem. My only concern in this testing, folks, really is the uplink. It is very, very weak. And the only thing that's going to really fix this, folks, is going to be for them to densify with a small cell or CRAN or millimeter wave. You know, like something close proximity to give you real capacity. All right, let's take this outside. Let's see how it performs. Let's see if the uplink improves. I think it should. The signal should get better just by stepping outside. Uh, we'll go ahead and check this out here. We got about 150 down. And it looks like about 13.4 megabits up. Okay, so... All right, here are my takeaways. The N77 5G Plus for AT&T does feel like it's about a step behind the Verizon version of 5G ultra wideband N77. I don't know if it's a combination of the Samsung radio gear being better uh, for Verizon than the Nokia radio gear for AT&T. I don't know if that's really a factor. Maybe it's the firmware updates that are coming into Samsung, kind of giving them the edge. Uh, or maybe it's just the engineering. Maybe it's just uh, the engineering team just doing a little bit better about improving uh, the signal quality and improving the connection for customers. I kind of think that's the instance. I think the Verizon engineers are just doing a little bit more with what they have. Uh, the one thing I will say is that the the, the channel for AT&T is a little bit skinnier, so that might be playing a factor too. Uh, but... Uh, more or less uh, serviceable, but we do want to see that uplink improve. But let me know what you guys are seeing in your markets if you've been testing this connection and using it. Love to hear what you have to say on it. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe for more, and we'll see you all in the next one. Peace.